Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Miss Philly. Sorry, my room is such a mess, but I just wanted to get this over with and done with because I'm not feeling the greatest and I feel like if I prolong it and don't film it that it's never gonna get done. I'll show you quickly, but I'm not gonna get into it because I wanna do a separate video on its own because I feel like it warrants its own video. Um, vintage Coach backpack and a Vintage Coach crossbody. So those are two things. So we got this. We picked up these two things. Um, these two things came from Value Village in uh, Fargo, North Dakota. They were $7 for both. Their um, Ultra Guard Plus Home Fogger prevents flea reinfestations for up to seven months. I feel like that'd be something someone would be interested in buying. I've listed these on Marketplace for, I think $20 each. No, $20 for both. And I got this, it's Rogaine. I've had so much success with this. I think this was $15 at Salvation Army at downtown Minneapolis. And I think I listed this on Marketplace for um, 50, I think it was 50. Okay, so I picked up these Michael Kors pants from the bins. This ended up being like probably $2 or less, um, size 10. I love them because they're like a nice kind of, um, not wide leg, but I guess straight leg. But they're nice when you're doing business cash, business, business professional. They're in great condition. Like I said, they're a size 10 Michael Kors dress pants. I like the cut of them. If you wear these with heels, it looks super, super cute. I picked up these from the, this, from the bins as well. I don't know if it's authentic. Um, it does have wear on the corners like that cracking. But I mean, for a dollar, I wasn't going to complain. I love the little tag or the zipper pull here. It says it has a Gucci emblem. And the back it says Gucci of Italy and then inside it's just an open space and it has this Gucci of Italy stamp there like again I don't know if this is authentic or not but it's a cute little tote I picked up these pants yes this is $11 at Savers um, they have that kind of cuff on the bottom they're baggy but cute I feel like yeah I don't know they're, they're they're listed as a size 2xl but I think they're actually more like a Maybe like a 2XL, 1XL from a brand called Shiwe. It has like the pink ombre going on. I thought it was really interesting and cute. Just like, you know, cash day out. Oh, just want to look cute and pink. <laughs> I picked up this Nordstrom's um, thing. I feel like once I get a high-end jacket or something, or if I thrift a high-end jacket, I could just use this as a dust cover for it. These pants were about 80 cents at the bins. DKNY large kind of like um baggy lounge pants they're pretty baggy i don't know they fit they're cute they're very comfortable i love the material on this it's not scratchy so and the bins i think i paid ended up paying maybe like 11 dollars for this because it is fairly heavy um you go by the pound and i think it was like two dollars a pound or something something like that maybe you pay i don't I can't remember i think we paid like 11 8 to 11 dollars but it's harley davidson size medium it's a really nice jacket very well made um those are the zippers and you have like so many zipper compartments for ventilation and then inside it's like this i think it's supposed to come with a liner but this one doesn't have the liner but it's a very well made jacket and there's like almost like not any like wear that i can see on it there's like a zipper right here on the thing it's a really nice jacket. It's so heavy. Like, I don't know how someone could wear this and not get tired from like, my arm is getting tired from holding onto it. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna sell it for. I feel like I can sell it for like $100. I think that's good for Harley, a Harley leather jacket. These pants from the bins, um, I bought them because they were baggy and they have that kind of thing going on like that. So this one's for me, not for resale. So from the bins, I actually already sold this for $15. I paid probably like $2. When you convert it to Canadian, probably ends up being like four. So I made like $11 on this. This was from the bins too. Kate Spade leather crossbody. Probably saw this locally for 15 to 20. This one Daniel found. It's a Marc Jacobs bag from the bins. So probably paid like $2 for it. Um, only problem is it's doing that. So I'm going to try and fix that. If we can't, then we lost $2, which isn't a big deal, but whatever. It's still functional. It's cute, whatever. Ben's Camuto. Normally don't pick this up, but um, at the Ben's I picked them up because it was only like $2, but it's in really good condition. 
And leather from Vince Camuto is a really good leather. So probably saw this locally for 15 to 20. This coach was from a Salvation Army. I paid $10 for it. Missing the crossbody, but hopefully we can match it. Michael Kors, Ben's fine. I probably paid $2. Missing the crossbody strap. Um, other than that, it's like that kind of shiny leather, which I like. So $2 from Michael Kors, can't beat that. This was from the bins as well, vintage um, coach. Um, this, the strap is kind of fucked, I think. Is it fucked? I feel like it's fucked. <laughs> but I bought it because I love this print from, my, um, from coach and I love it because it's made in Turkey. Um, you know a bag is older when it's made in Turkey. Yeah, made in Turkey. So this is probably from the early 2000s, made in Turkey. I love the print though. Maybe I can somehow replace the strap and just, I don't know. And I love that kind of tassel zipper pull, which is kind of cool. I don't know. The strap is okay, but I feel like I want to replace it. I thought the strap, I thought something was wrong with the strap though. Maybe like there. This fossil from the bins probably paid like two to three dollars. It's very well worn, but the thing is fossil is their leather is phenomenal that it ages so well. Nobody at the bins picked this up. It was just being tossed around like some porn star in a porn set in the 90s. But very well used, but it gives you like that vintage look and just feeling it, it's so heavy. It's such high quality. I love Fossil so much. These two Victoria's Secret uh, finds are from the bins. This little tote is from the bins. Probably paid like a dollar for it. Thought it was cute. And this I picked up from the bins as well. It is a Victoria's Secret uh, tote, but also a backpack. So that was a good find. This probably was 50 cents. It's so light, like insane. So. And the last bag that we found wasn't from the bins. It's from Value Village, which was only $7 for this beautiful Brighton. I haven't picked up a Brighton bag in such a long time. This beautiful crock embossed um, thing, thing, leather. And then you have that flat pocket and then that hang tag inside is somewhat clean I guess oh it comes with a oh thank goodness it comes with the strap I thought it wasn't in there okay there and there okay so this Brighton bag does that whole cross thing like that one over which is some people don't like that but I don't mind it um, back slip pocket. The leather on this is good. Uh, I think, oh, it's a little dirty inside. You didn't notice that. Inside is like this suede color or suede material. Some pen marks, a little bit of dirt, but I feel like for $5, we weren't going to complain. <laughs> and Brighton is such a expensive brand. I think this retails for like 300 or something like that. But um, yeah, that's all that we got from the bins, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm still not feeling the best. I still feel like shit. Um, but um, I had a great time. I had a great time. We got some stuff. Hopefully we resell everything and make money. And um, don't know what else to say. Give this video a like and comment below what you think that I thrifted. Hopefully we're able to make money. I feel like if I didn't get the bags from uh, Mary that the trip might have not been worthwhile. But um, because of that, I think it made it worthwhile. But I feel like we did get some good stuff. I was out of commission. Uh, two days because of being sick in Minneapolis, but um, I guess if I wasn't then maybe we would have got some more stuff um, And then we also visited like Style Encore. They had a lot of great luxury stuff over there that I really liked But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment and if you're not subscribed subscribe to, to um, Watch me find my amazing thrift finds and I hope you guys are doing well and I'm just gonna crawl back into bed and go to sleep